Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making three dump and go Instant Pot desserts. So my name is Kristen Hills and my sisters and I, we love sharing Instant Pot recipes with you guys every Sunday. So one of my favorite things to make in the Instant Pot is dessert. Now these recipes are super simple because it's just, you know, my regular dump and go, but desserts this time. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Okay, so first we're going to mix the butter. So I have about a half a cup of butter, like halfway melted. So we're just gonna just dump it right in here. Then we're just gonna add one cup of sugar and mix these until it's really well combined. All right, next you're just gonna add two eggs into your mixture. And you're just gonna mix that all together too. So then we're gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I love vanilla. So sometimes I'll even add two teaspoons. Mix that in. Okay, so then just on top of this, we're gonna add three fourths cup of flour, then one third cup of cocoa, about half a teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure that's, yep, ah, we're okay, we're okay. There you go. And then just a little bit, just like a sprinkle of salt. It's like a fourth of a teaspoon, but kind of just, you know, guess. All right, then we're just gonna combine this all together. All right, so when you are stirring this, just keep stirring. It's a little dry, but if you just keep mixing, it will mix all together. All right, so once it's pretty well combined, you're gonna add one cup of chocolate chips. Now I'm adding dark chocolate today. And then about a half cup of chopped walnuts. Now if you don't like nuts or if you're allergic to nuts, you don't have to add the nuts, but I love walnuts, so we'll just dump those in too. Then you're just gonna fold this in very gently. All right, so now we are ready to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of water into the bottom of our Instant Pot. And then we're gonna take some sort of pot in pot. Now I've had a few recipes about this explaining how to use the pot in pot. Um, I'll link this pot down below in the description for you, but there's lots of different kinds you can use. So you can use a springform pan, this actually stacks on top of each other so it's, it turns into like a double, but I'm just use, using the single today. So make sure that you spray your pan with a non-stick cooking spray. Then we're just going to dump this into it. All right, so now you're just going to spread it out just so it's, it's pretty level on all sides. Okay, now we've talked about desserts and how the texture is just a little bit different. Now I love this because it, it really turns this brownie nice and fudgy. So you can cook this in your oven for about the same amount of time or you can do it in your Instant Pot and just get a fudgier brownie. So before you put in your Instant Pot, we're gonna cover it with foil nice and tight. You want to try and not let any of the moisture get into your brownie so the foil will help keep it out. Okay, now we're ready to throw it in the Instant Pot. There you go, make sure your lid is on. You should hear that little jingle if it's on right. Then you're gonna make sure that little knob is sealing, not venting. Next, you're gonna push the pressure cook or the manual button. Now, all the Instant Pots have either a pressure cook or manual, so that's how you're gonna work your pot. So pressure cook, and we're actually going up to 50 minutes. Now you can cook it for the same amount in your oven. Like I said before, you're, it's just not gonna be as fudgy. So once we hit 50 minutes, you set the timer and then you can just walk away. All right, so now that all the pressure's out, we let it release on its own for a little bit. We're gonna open it up and carefully pull it out <laughs> without burning ourselves. Okay. Open this up, see how it is. Nice, now that is a fudgy brownie. All right, the second recipe I'm making is 
cake batter rice crispy treats now i got this idea from one of our followers that is in afghanistan who is actually cooking rice crispy treats for his troops so i got permission and i'm like hey could i share that his is a little bit different we're making cake batter but Thank you so much for the idea. So this is like any other Rice Krispie treat. You're, you're just gonna make it in your Instant Pot like you would the stove top, but it makes it go by a lot faster. So we're first gonna add a fourth a cup of butter. Now I did push the saute button. We are on saute that's on high right now so everything can melt. Um, so while my butter's melting, we're just gonna add five cups of marshmallows and we're just gonna sit and stir this together while we wait for it. Okay, so while that is starting to melt, we're gonna add just a teaspoon of vanilla, just right in there. Now you wanna be careful, you don't want this to burn, so you just have to keep scraping the bottom of your pot, just like you would normal Rice Krispie treats. Okay, so once all your marshmallows and butter and vanilla are all mixed well together, so you want all the marshmallows to pretty much disappear, you're gonna pull your pot right out of the Instant Pot. Now, it's beeping at me. I'm gonna hurry and push cancel real fast. There we go. And then after that, you're gonna add your frosting. Now, I have one tub of Funfetti frosting. I mixed in the sprinkles already, so I'm just gonna dump that right in. Now, in case you didn't know, frosting is like my favorite food, so when my sister suggested you should make Funfetti one, I'm like, whoa, that's right down my alley. Okay, dumping in all my frosting. Now I did microwave this for about 20 seconds just to get it a little softer so it would mix better. Okay, then you're just gonna mix in your frosting and all of your marshmallow goodness. Okay, now you're just gonna add your six cups of Rice Krispie Treats. I have them all measured out, ready to go, so I can just dump them right in. And just mix it all up. All right, so once it's all combined, we're just going to spray our nine by 13 pan with nonstick cooking spray. Then we're just gonna just dump this right in. Okay, so then you're just going to pack this down. First I do it with my spoon and then I do it with my hand just to make sure they're nice and packed and tight because you don't like loose Rice Krispie Treats, you like them nice and tight. Okay, we'll spread this out as even as I can right now. Then I like to spray my hand with cooking spray. So then I can just pack it down really well. And hopefully it won't stick as bad. I'm still getting a little stick, it's fine. <laughs> After that, you're just gonna add some sprinkles. Now, you don't have to do this. I just love that it's fun, fetty Rice Krispies, and so just adding the sprinkles just makes them just more fun, especially for kids. All right, you're just gonna let these cool down, then you can cut into them, and they are all done. This is one of the easiest desserts. You guys are gonna love it. All right, so this recipe is our peach cobbler dump cake, but it's so simple. You just cook everything in the Instant Pot. So we're gonna dump it all and then throw it in. Okay, so you're gonna start with two cans of peaches. Now, let me make sure I get these ounces right. 15 ounces of each, we've drained them, so we'll make it a lot easier. Now again, this is a pot in pot recipe, so I'll make sure I link which pot I use. You can use a springform pan or any other pan that's big enough that will fit in your Instant Pot. So we have two cans of these, drained pretty well. Next, we're gonna add a third cup of brown sugar. We're just gonna sprinkle that like right on top. So then we're just gonna stir this up just a little bit, just so that you can get the brown sugar and cinnamon kind of around each peach. Okay, so once it looks all, all combined pretty well, then we're gonna add um, a cake mix. Now we're only gonna add half of the box or about one and a half cups of yellow or white cake mix. So I've already measured it out. We're just gonna just pour it on top. Well, I guess not pour, sprinkle. There we go, sprinkle's the word we're gonna use. Now it seems like there is a lot of cake mix, but it's, you'll see, it, it, will, it will work out well, I promise. So we're gonna just spread this around, cover all the peaches and cover 
pretty much everything. Okay, now I have about a fourth a cup of butter. I've melted it. You don't have to melt it. You can even like cut it into little cubes and lay it on top. I like to melt mine a little bit just so I can have a little more control of where it goes. So we're just going to gently just kind of spoon this on. It doesn't have to be pretty. And it's, it's kind of hard to spread after you put it on because it just takes the cake with it. So just spread it out literally the best that you can. And it doesn't have to be pretty. You'll see it will all cook together. All right, so now that that's done, ready to go, we're just gonna cover it with foil real fast. Because again, we wanna try and get all of the moisture, as much as the moisture out as possible. We just want it to cook and not be wet. Okay. <laughs> okay, so once that's ready to go, you're gonna add about a half a cup to a cup of water just to the bottom. Um, I do have my little trivet. You can use any trivet that will fit. I'll just put this right on top. I do love this trevor though because it has handles and it will come out easier. All right, I think we are ready. So we're gonna put our lid on. Then you're gonna turn your little knob to sealing, not venting. Now this is the older version, so it's a manual button, but if you have a pressure cook button, that's the button you're gonna push. So we're gonna push manual or pressure cook. Then we're gonna go up to 15 minutes. Now after it's done cooking, you're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. So release on its own for 10 minutes. But for now, now that we've set the time, you can just walk away. Okay, so now that all the pressure is out, we let it sit here for about, I don't know, 15, oh, it says 17 minutes or so. You can go 10 minutes, but I had some stuff going on. So 17 minutes. And go ahead and take your lid off. Now it's going to be really hot, so you'll still need your oven mitts when you take your trivet out. And we'll pull off this foil. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, so now if you want it to be like browned and crispy, like a crisp, you can put it in the broiler for a few minutes. But for me, I mean, it's cooked all the way through, so we're just going to put it right onto our plate. All right, and there you go. You just add a little bit of ice cream on top or you can just eat it plain, just like this. Now, if you want more desserts that are dump and go, you can check out this video right there. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I'll see you next time.